What do Pokemon fans want? This is both a deeply complex, yet relatively simple question. So let's break it down and talk about it. We'll start simple. From my perspective, every Pokemon fan wants the same thing, an enjoyable Pokemon experience. That's it, really. We all just want to enjoy Pokemon. Watching it, playing it, trading it, whatever, we're all just looking to have a good time. I put it this way because it's important to remember that we are all humans here. You know, some of the shit I see online is just absolutely out of this world. We gotta remember there's a person on the other side of that, and even though it may be hard to tell through layers of anger, you know, people be spitting that vitriol online, <laughs> these feelings are coming from a place of love. We all have very special memories and experiences with Pokemon. It's very near and dear to the heart for a lot of people. And we all want to continue to have that, right? I think sometimes those deep associations we have with Pokemon fill us with emotion and can impact our judgment. Pokemon is a company. Pokemon is a soulless entity that exists for the sole purpose of getting your money. That magic we felt in our childhood, or whenever you first experienced it, it's got a grip on us. The reason I wanted to begin this way is because there seems to be this idea that anybody who has a differing opinion on the matter is just a troll or a whiny baby or some other insult. And sure, there definitely is a group of people out there who are running around just trying to make people angry and like saying dumb shit, but I think the vast majority of people aren't. I think that group of trollers is vastly over-exaggerated in size. Because, you know, it's easy to dismiss the opinions of other people. It's easy to just write people off and drop them into this ambiguous category and to just label it Pokemon fans. And that's how we get here. What do Pokemon fans want? Who exactly are we talking about? <laughs> people seem to put those they disagree with, or people who annoy them, or just people they don't like in general into this category. And then they say, Pokemon fans are this, Pokemon fans want that, that's so stupid, they react this way, blah blah blah. You know, we've all seen it. And there isn't inherently an issue with that, like it's okay to just shit post and say like, you know, make silly jokes about people in the Pokemon community having mixed feelings about things and how no one can decide what we want from Pokemon. Um, it's just, I see it being used in instances where it isn't particularly helpful and kind of just serves to like throw gasoline on the fire a little bit, uh, but we'll discuss that a little bit more in a bit. Obviously, we don't all need to agree on what's good in a Pokemon game, but what we should strive to do is be better to one another. I was looking through Twitter the last time some Pokemon shit came out. Uh, I can't remember if it was Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl or Legends Arceus News or like what it was, but I was looking through it and I was like, damn, some full grown adults are on here saying some truly heinous shit, acting like children, being assholes to people. And like, that's disappointing because like, I'm not generally the kind of person who thinks that people need to be like responsible for their audiences or anything like that, but I, I do think that you set an example for your followers when you behave like that. You know, especially like these big uh, people on Twitter, big YouTubers, like grown adults that have large followings. And you know, people always say, well, Pokemon's just a children's game. Everyone should just stop complaining because it's for kids. Okay, if it is intended for kids, consider how many of those children are sitting here watching you throw a temper tantrum about this. You know, consider the example you're setting for these people and not just the children, but all these people who might agree with you and those who don't, you know, they see you acting a fool on the internet and it just it just creates negativity you know it just perpetuates it not to mention like a little bit off topic but this is such a bizarre argument anyway there isn't really any correlation between the quality of a product and its intended audience if you're happy with the game just say that say i like the game <laughs> you're allowed to that's okay 
Anyway, the point is that even though it isn't always expressed in the right way or it might not come across very well, people just want to enjoy their Pokemon games. And that doesn't make it okay for people to harass other people or be rude at the end of the day. Um, but if you really do hate talking about Pokemon, maybe you should stop going on Pokemon Twitter or just on Twitter in general. You know, like if you're tweeting about how much you love the game and saying things about Pokemon, you kind of have to expect that someone who also has strong feelings about it but maybe didn't like it as much as you did, might respond and say something. Again, it's not okay for someone to come in like violently and start being aggressive and rude, but I'm just saying that everybody's allowed to have their own opinion, and neither one is wrong or right. It's just how you feel. And if you can't talk about it in a mature manner, or you just don't like seeing it, then don't talk about it or private your account. You know, take steps to reduce how much you're seeing it. There's this like weird attitude that demonizes people for sharing their opinions and ideas. You know, people are like, oh, Pokemon fans just complain because they have nothing better to do. Like, dude, you're on Twitter. It's a social media. Talking about stuff is the entire point of being on Twitter. Like, share your thoughts is literally... Twitter's motto and when you know when you praise the game on Twitter are you just a loser who has nothing better to do or are you just talking about stuff that interests you on your Twitter account you know it's an interesting comparison that people who praise the game you know you're allowed to talk about it but people who didn't like the game are just losers who are complaining who have nothing better to do anyway I'm getting off topic here. Let's get back to the main point. What do Pokemon fans want? A simple answer. An enjoyable experience. However, this grows incredibly complex when we consider a few things. People always like the line, Pokemon is a billion dollar franchise. And it is. It's the biggest in the world. Pikachu is a household name. Have you ever met someone who didn't know what Pokemon is? I know I haven't. So we need to consider that, yes, Pokemon is a massive franchise, and that also means that the fan base is enormous. You know, this blanket term of Pokemon fans doesn't really communicate that, and I think sometimes we forget. The Pokemon fan base is made up of millions of different people who all started their journey in different places and have different emotional connections to the franchise. You know, there's young people who started here and want this, old people who started there and want that. Everyone in between there, Pokemon Go players, it just goes on and on and on. You know, issues arise when group A wants A, group B wants B, C wants C, and Masuda and Omori at Game Freak are like, you know what, we need to make sure we're appealing to mobile gamers. <laughs> The fact is that Pokemon is simply too big to be able to please everybody. People sometimes say Pokemon doesn't listen to the fans, but if they did listen, what would they hear? Is it clear what the fans want? Do the fans even agree on what they want? I had this realization not that long ago because, you know, I too, at a point, was fighting the good fight for better better quote-unquote better Pokemon games and I, I stopped and looked at what I was seeing like just observed the community and I was like hold on a second am I in the minority like I realized that maybe what I want from a Pokemon game isn't what the majority wants and that might sound kind of silly because like not obviously not everyone shares my ideas but something clicked, and I finally felt like I understood why Pokemon was going in the direction it is. Because I, I did used to think that things were just going where nobody wanted, and Pokemon just doesn't listen. But now I'm starting to feel like Pokemon is just appealing to the larger audience. And maybe I'm just not a part of that audience these days. Maybe I'm just not the target demographic anymore. 
Game Freak and Pokemon have changed their trajectory with the series, but the world has also changed since 2007. Pokemon has changed since 2007. Things are just different now, and that can be a really tough pill to swallow, because Pokemon was everything to me growing up, and it's still something that I love. Granted, I think there are more issues going on than uh, just a change in game design at play here, but that's a topic for another time. The point is that some people are going to get left behind here, and that's the nature of the situation, but it sucks, so it's important to understand where some of those feelings are coming from. Not to mention, I consider myself pretty involved in the Pokemon community, at least in terms of the shiny hunting Pokemon community, and I can't figure out what Pokemon fans want, so how could Pokemon? This brings us to the quality argument. It's quite common. You know, graphics, art style, general polish, you know. Each side of this argument has an extreme. Some people will complain to no end, no matter what, and never be happy. On the other hand, some people are like Bruno Mars and would put their hand on a blade or jump in front of a train for Pokemon. You know, clearly there is confusion where one side gets muddled into this extreme only standpoint and it just ends up being dismissive and invalidating and the argument persists. I, I don't know if there will ever be a time where this isn't an argument. You know, as we've said, Pokemon is just so big. There's bound to be shit posters, and there's always going to be people who aren't enjoying the games. However, I just noticed a lot of vile back and forth going on, and it seems like at times people don't even really know what they're arguing about, or what they're talking about at all. You know, there's a lot of emotion connected with this, and I think that's giving way to a lot of this vitriol. So let's just try and like chill out a little bit be more understanding and nice to one another.